Hello, YouTube. This is iTweet Magazines, brought to you by iTweet Magazines, uh, where I do vlogs and blogs. Please make sure you check out other links uh, for uh, cool stuff. And uh, I try to cover gadgets, applications, apps, softwares on Mac uh, world. But recently, uh, Windows has released a cool Windows 8, and I am going to demonstrate it, how to run it, and not how to run, I apologize, how to navigate through it. I will have another video how to install on install Windows 8 coming soon. Um, please uh, subscribe, ask me questions if you, or comment if you need any assistance one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. I will be glad to help you through this. Um, again, I'm running OS X uh, Mountain Lion version 10.8.2 uh, processor 2.2 gigahertz with 8 gig memory. I went from a 4 to 8 uh, because I use um, heavy complex applications as, for example, Photoshop, Final Cut, etc. Um, definitely when you're running Perils desktop, Windows 8 on it, you definitely need more RAM, um, which I will cover. If you guys are not familiar with, Perils desktop is it's an it's a application that's installed on Mac to allow you and enable you to run other operating systems. Uh, you can run my, uh, Chrome OS. There's a few other ones that I've noticed that they have. Uh, let's get started. So you start this guy. Here is Windows 8. Uh, you boot and you log in. And kind of like it would start uh, booting a new computer or an actual hardware. This is the login screen. Um, and this is the uh, desktop of the classic view. I'm going to put this guy in... Uh, full screen to give you a better point of view of what's going on here. Now we're going to go to Metro View, which is in hot corners, the bottom left corner. And here's the Metro View. Here's the new Metro View of Windows 8, what all the buzz is all about. Um, honestly, uh, I'm not going to be judgmental on Windows. Everybody has a different point of view or, or they can judge it however they like. I'm here just to show you what's it like and to navigate through it and maybe teach you a new thing on it that you didn't know. Uh, so here's the applications. You got mail, uh, you launch mail, just kind of like a application on Apple, but they got it as in a software tiles display, which we are familiar with on uh, Windows mobile devices that we've seen before, which is pretty clean, pretty sharp. Uh, I like the design of it. Uh, hot corners again, you come to the bottom right corner it gives you the uh, options of going to start home page. It gives you the time at the bottom left. Uh, it gives you an option to share. There is nothing to share right now. You must select contain an email and message in order to share. Um, okay. So, I mean, you know, these things you, you'll, you'll start learning throughout the time. Uh, more use. I've been using this for 48 hours only. I'm sure there's a whole lot more to learn on this. Settings are here for every, when you come to settings, it's going to enable you to allow you to, to do certain settings for um, an application that you're using. And here, as you can see, you can add Outlook, other possible Outlook email you have. You can add Google, you can add AOL, and Yahoo. I don't know about Apple. It doesn't look like it's there, so sorry, guys. Um, maybe the near future will be updated. Okay, let's go back to home. This is home again. You got Skype, which is just like a regular Skype, but in a full mood, full screen operating looking. Uh, you got Evernote. Uh, you got the store. Explore is pretty cool. I'm going to launch that and show you what's it like. Um, I'm going to go to Bing, which is really cool interface, as you can see. Now you can hit Command T, just like a new tab and it allows you to go more tabs. Um, you can come to the corner over here, it takes you back, okay. Again, this is a 48 hour review, so bear with me please guys, if you find this is annoying or what I'm, I'm not doing, I'm just kind of showing you what I've seen and witnessed for the past um, 48 hours. So, that's explore for you. Again, if you want to do certain settings, you come down here, and change settings, do whatever you like to each individual application slash software. Okay, back to home. 
I downloaded Quick Notes, found it very useful, it's free, um, and you can sync this thing through uh, online iCloud or what support. I'm sure you guys are familiar with it through the Apple Store application. Um, I downloaded OneNote, which is really cool, was free. It is the camera. Uh, the Twitter account is pretty cool. I have to say that I liked it. Uh, the GUI interface of it is pretty nice. Now the sign-in did take a little bit of time, but I, I cut that time out so you're not seeing it. Um, it all depends on your internet connection. Now you notice I'm back and forth checking my memory here, um, paying attention to the memory. It's, it's really important. That you don't want to slow down your machine or crash it by overloading too much memory into it. I recommend get at least eight, you guys, at least, um, unless you're not doing so much on the Mac side. Four would be just right about. Twitter account, again, um, come down to the corner, go to the settings, uh, general settings. I think you can, yeah, you can add another account, which I am not familiar with. Purchase Metro Pro from Windows Store. Oh, I see. To upgrade to manage multiple Twitter accounts. Okay, got it. So, again, this is all free right now, but I guess if you want to do more cool stuff, you got to purchase it. Kind of a nice... Uh, marketing there for them. Okay, this is the uh, Microsoft Applications slash Softwares store. Uh, categorized in a games, social, entertainment, and so forth, just like App Store. Um, you click on it, and your PC isn't connected to the internet. Yes, it is. <laughs> this is so weird. Um, again, sometimes it drops for some reason. Let's try it again. Ah, uh, there it is. Okay, so if you like this guy, or I'm sorry, if you like this application software, you just click install and it does it all in the background. If it's free, it's not going to ask you for a payment processing. Otherwise, it will do it all automatically. Now, there's going to be a cool uh, sound it's going to do once it finishes installing the application or software that you're downloading which I'll show you in a minute, you will be able to hear it. Once it's finished, I'll just, and there it is, the sound, I don't know if you guys heard it or not, but it made a little beep beep kind of sound to alert you. Moving on forward to another ap application or software, music is pretty cool, now I'm all overseas, so I'm not gonna be able to access it, unfortunately, Microsoft doesn't believe to, with people sharing music other than the States, side. so when I'm going, when I go home, I'll be able to listen for music for free. Um, we got games, camera, I haven't checked any of that out yet. Sports is pretty cool. It gives you highlights, important uh, articles, and so forth. I hope this was uh, helpful you guys for you guys. Oh, one more thing. Uh, the settings, the personal settings. You come down here, you go to settings, and you can customize it. Start screen, change colors, um, do all kind of funky kind of looking cool stuff if you're into that. Go to users, notifications, share, and so forth. Um, now the search, if you know how to use the search, it's pretty cool. Pay attention, you guys. Watch this. You click on search, type in anything you like. For example, uh, I want to search for, um, I don't know, notes. Okay. Now it's going to ask you, well, what do you want to search notes at? What, what, what apps? or files, or app store, internet. See how it's changing? Whatever I'm going, it's changing along with me. So this is how you would search. So you got all your applications or softwares, and you click individually to search whatever particular subject you need to search for. So I, I had a little hard time figuring that out. So I thought I'd give you a note on it to, to, to let you know. Now go back to the desktop. Uh, if you want to get into the admin personalizing, you right-click on the desktop, go to personalize, go to control, and here it is, all of it in there, you guys. Um, that's the fastest way to get to it. Okay, so when you guys once so you guys are done, you click um, sign out, which I don't know why it doesn't have a shutdown from the sign out option. I'm going to minimize this from take it out from full screen. 
so you can see what I'm doing out here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to shut down this machine. Um, but it's not a machine. I'm not shutting down my Mac. I'm shutting down the, uh, the operating system that's running on the perils. So you come down here and you click either slip, stop, pause, or sleep. No, it's, it's over here. I'm sorry, guys. Sleep, shut down, or restart. So I'm going to do shut down. And it's going to shut it down, just kind of like uh, it was sh shutting down an actual device. And here it is, shut down. This is the home screen. Now, if you want to adjust your memory, how much memory RAM you want to use running Windows 8, you, come, you have to shut it down first. You come to Virtual Machine, go all the way down to Configuration, and you can customize things down here. Okay? I hope this was useful for you guys. Please comment, subscribe, ask questions. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, guys. Peace.